Good day guys, today the topic will be on five things you need to know about the Ishim website. Given that many of us can't complete our CEs as we normally do, we may have to do them online and begin to navigate the Ishim website more often. So here are five things you need to know about the Ishim website. Okay guys, I'm currently on the home page. First thing will be to verify certification. How do you verify certification? On the Ishim website, when you are on the home page, you go to certification. You go to verify certification. And here it will ask you for your last name and your Ishim ID. You put in your last name and your Ishim ID. If you've done it, it will drop down. If you haven't, just type it in. Then you hit search and then it will, all your certifications will pop up. Whether you have one or all four, they will pop up. And the date you earned your certification and also when your expiration date is. So if you would like or lower down to the right side you will be able to print your verification letter if your supervisor manager facility wants to know if you are currently certified you will be able to print your certification next we will be finding educational opportunities on the Asian website on the home screen again you would go to education Lesson plans. Then scroll down. You would see, you would come across the CRCST, CIS, CER, and CHL lesson plans. If you'd like to take a lesson plan, you would click learn more. And you'd see the numerous lessons available. This section has quite a few lessons. You would then click on how to purchase available CRSTST lesson or access store or access reading. Whichever one will move you forward in purchasing and reading on that lesson. So I'll click here. They will ask you also to enter your email and password. So I'm entering my email password. Then it will take you to your lesson. There are 19 lessons in this area. You click on your lesson, scroll down, tell you the expiration date of this lesson. Also the member rate and the non-member rate for this lesson. You can add it to cart where you'd pay $5 for your member rate and $10 for the non-member rate. You can also get up to two CEs of continuing education per quiz. So that's not too bad for being at home. Study material, you click here to access study material you're able to read the study material and go back. You would like to put, if you'd like to purchase the material, you click add to cart. Then it would give you options on how to purchase. Um, you didn't need a credit card, debit card. Um, if you're a non-member, it would be $10. If you're a member, five bucks. And um, this is how you you get your CEs at this point, since there are no seminars or conferences available to attend. Our next area will be renewing your certification. From the home page, you'd go to certifications, renew certification.
scroll then you would see all the CEs necessary for each certification. So for the CRCST, you'd need 12 CEs. For the CER, you'd need six CEs. For the CIS, you also need six. For the CHL, you would need six CEs. For the C CCSVP, you'd need six. And for the fellowship or ACE, you um, there are no C is required so if you had all um, the four required um, C's for members you would need 12 plus 6 is 18 plus 6 is 24 plus 6 is 30 you need 30 C's in all it also shows um, what the hour of continuing education how many C's is that one hour equals one C credit half hour equals half C credit and a quarter hour equals a quarter C credit so this is from this point um, April 2020 then if you scroll down you'll see your re renewal online or renewal by mail or fax it also gives you options for certification renewal. So yearly $50 membership would give you one year of recertification, one year subscription to the central source and one year subscription to process. Six, $60 yearly subscription will give you one year of recertification and membership, one year subscri subscription to central source one year subscription to process discount on lesson plans and webinars discounts on annual conference fees discounts on publications and merchandise online access to resource documents online access to discussion forms el eligibility to vote in asian elections and run for office so i would get the 60 dollar yearly plan um, there's too much value in that not to get it. To submit your renewal, you would, you would click Submit Renewal. Then you would have options on the Isham documents. And these documents will help you further in getting recertified. The Certification Handbook, click on this. It will basically walk you through the whole process of what you need to certify. You could print this out or read it online. Going back, another option would be upload, see upload instructions. This will show you how to log in and acquire, acquire your C's and see what's required to attain um, to um, retain certification of your C's, of your certifications. Submit a sub, um, C submission form, be your next option. This will walk you through what's accepted and what's not for renewing your certification. And in services, staff meetings, what they accept and what they do not accept, what Isham accepts and does not accept for continuing education going back you can also scroll down on this page and steps to renew certification now this is very helpful down here submit continuing education and click on this and you'll be able to upload your CEs through here you click on or take online education or take online education sorry then you take your lessons there scroll down a little more submit renewal fee then purchase renewal fee right here and processing timeline verification verify certification so you can find a number of areas different areas from the website website on here also important submit continuing continuing education upload CEs. You would click on here, then you'd see all your certifications, whether you have one, four, one to four, 
then if you'd like to see the details of your certification you would click certification details and that will take you to another page where you're able to upload your CEs to the website and it will allow you to pay also so you click on CRCST 12 CEs then you scroll down here then uh, and that under that CE, the CRCST, it will ask you to report CEs, and then this window would pop up and give the date, the in service, the provider of the in service, the topic, number of credits, and to browse that document. So if you went to a seminar, you would indicate the provider of the seminar, the topics, and the number of CEs and you'd browse you'd get a pdf copy of that i do not know if ishim accepts um photo photo copies of um of of your ce's they might this might only accept pdfs i don't know if they'll allow you to take a snapshot and send it in but this is um they most likely accept pdfs so you would browse your computer for the PDF, upload it, and indicate what it's from. But it's two, six, 12 CEs until you add up to 12 or how many you need for each certification. And then click submit. And this will take you to a, a payment area. You'll be able to pay your fee um, after uploading all your information. It will be um, the normal 60 or 50 dollars if you like purchasing a book from the asian website i'm going back to the home page you would click to your right on store then you would search for your documents your book sets or individual books there are also there's also literature on amy amy policy amy recommendations textbooks etc so i would like to buy a cer book get my cer certification then it'll take you to this page and the price for member is 80 dollars and the non-member is 90 dollars that's pretty decent you would click add to cart it will take you to your cart Uh, I, I already have the um, the lesson plan in here, so I'll take that off. So then you would continue to shop or check out. Then your address is in the top. U.S. ground would be five dollars to ship. Then you'd continue. Please wait. You would calculate. It would be $85 to ship this, this manual CER. So now we're going to go to our final topic, which is job search, which at this point, a lot of people may be looking for new jobs at a different facility. So on your home screen, resources, Career Center. Then you'd scroll down, find a job or post a job. For those facilities with job openings, they would post a job. For those persons looking for, for work, would click on find a job. Then you'd see the job down menu here, different facilities asking for different um, positions. You would click on a facility or position and CRCST technician and you'd see the requirements for the positions and if that facility needed any additional positions. And there you have it guys. This is how you navigate the Asian website to get your certifications, to verify your certifications, to find education, job search, renew your certification, 
or to purchase a book. So thanks for viewing. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.